Welcome to another episode of the GSAT Track How To Series. In this video, I'm going to discuss and show you how to use two way messaging in a shared view. To begin, we want to come over here to our Manage button. We're going to go to our Shared Views. Now, when you're setting up a shared view, you can choose whether you want to enable or disable the two way messaging. I've already created one, so I'm going to come in here and go to the Edit portion. Here, I'm able to see two-way messaging. I want to make sure that enabled is actually marked, not disabled, but enabled. Once that's done, we want to come down and set our preferences. What assets do we want to be able to message, etc. Once we've done that, we want to then go to save changes. So now this shared view will allow me to message persons inside the shared view itself. So to view how this works, I'm now going to go to the shared view. And it's clear that we're in a shared view because our options that we have here are very limited. We're not able to access all the functionality that GSAT Track usually has, but it's great for allowing others to see what we can do. So the next step, I'm going to expand out this view. I'm going to look at the live mode and I can see all of my assets, or in this case, I'm just looking at my own cell phone. So here I'm able to go ahead and message my cell phone through a couple of different ways. I can either, click on the asset itself and then go to the quick actions here and then asset options, which expands out our interface here. So we're able to interact with it more broadly. And here you can see send message. Now I can go ahead and message myself. I would be able to get to this same panel if everything was locked down by simply going over here to live view, then going and clicking on my name, the cog and then send message. Now I'm going to send a message directly to myself on my cell and I'm going to say, hello, real simple, send message. Now the system lets me know that the message has been queued. The next step, I can see that I've received it on my cell phone. So I'm going to reply and say, how are you? Real simple and go ahead and shoot that off. Now that I've done that, the message populates up here. We can see uh, that we can go ahead and reply to it either by texting back or we can simply confirm. If we don't confirm it, it's going to continue to pop up there every so often to let us know what's going on. Now, there's also a log of our messages going back and forth. So we can see the communication that occurred during our shared view session, and it will also be there in historical view. So if I go back to my history and look for communications over a certain time, I can see all of those back and forth. And that's how two-way messaging in a shared view works. Thank you very much, and I look forward to our next video.